Welcome to the class. Um, I'm Jürgen Siemer and uh, with me is Ballerina Wee. And today we will show you how to cut a subset from a large reference model within basically five minutes. And the example we use for today's class is to extract a Fibio module for the fund and hedge fund ontologies. Reference models accelerate the development process. We save time by reusing existing content rather than uh, reinventing the wheel. And the harmonized design facilitates integration across the enterprise or industry. An industry, in my case, it's uh, banking and uh, financial services. And this is also today's example. Enterprise reference model provides a machine and human readable view of data processes and recently ontologies that we use within a company or the enterprise. And I guess most of you, you have some kind of enterprise data model, enterprise reference model. Industry reference model provides that same common, same view, but common for all the companies within the industry. And um, well-known examples uh, are the IBM models, like the uh, banking data warehouse model and on the, in the semantic world there is of course the financial industry business ontology now by their nature these reference models are huge they can contain thousands of entities and classes and this really is a distraction to business users and it developers who, who want to adopt a, a, a reference model simply because the content is overwhelming. And in the semantic world, there's also a quite significant performance drag, simply because um, the uh, ontology reasoner has to compute inferences across uh, that huge model, which takes time and most of which we may never need for our particular use case. The ideal then becomes the subset model because it provides a scope of the reference model for a particular use case. Let me start with a, a definition from Boris Konev. Two ontologies can be regarded equivalent if they give the same answers to all queries. So um, our use case model consists of all required constructs. These are our newly defined triples and those that we use from the reference model. And the subset model then is the intersection of use case and, and reference model. And um, the um, equivalent proof is that all my, my queries run on, on the, the, the subset and use case model. I produce the exact same result set as use case model with the full reference model. Now, how do we get from full reference to subset reference model? It's a cut and paste, a simple extraction method. And the method uses a tool set that's commonly available within an IT department. You have all the tools you need already. And also the approach requires no expert data architect ontology knowledge. A beginner can extract a module within five minutes. Okay, our example for today is the, the hedge fund and fund ontology. And I will present the uh, fund regulation ontology at the uh, FIBO conference next month in uh, San Diego. And so this video is kind of an add-on to show how we extracted the scoped uh, subset model from the FIBO. Well, FIBO has almost uh, uh, 3,000 classes, over 100 old files. The fund ontology only needs some, some 5% of FIBO, maybe 150 classes that are related to investment management. Now we will extract, we cut the FIBO classes and property into a self-contained consistent ontology module. And then we paste, we integrate that module into the fund ontology. Okay, here is a, a, a diagram of the core FIBO and um, uh, uh, fund ontology classes. 
and we see here the um, orange line. This is the scope. These are all the fibro classes. And the green line here, this is our um, fund hedge fund ontology. And we will see here uh, classes, for example, like the um, investment uh, advisor, which is a subclass of the FIBO financial services providers. And that gives us then the intersection here. These are all the FIBO core classes that we need for the fund ontology. And then the scope model that we want to extract from FIBO is basically the shape here, the intersection of FIBO and full fund, fund ontology. Okay, um, a word before we start the, um, the live demo. JZ Data Models has filed a provisional patent application with the USPTO. However, uh, this is a purely defensive patent. You are free to use the approach and methodology in the tool set um, this is mainly to prevent third parties from claiming ownership and thus restricting JZ and customers from using the invention. And with that, I, I want to hand over to um, my uh, colleague, Mrs. Wee. And uh, remember, like uh, we've known each other for three years, but address me as Mr. Seema, okay? Careful with the fiber entity, sweetie, no? Yes, you do it right. Don't cut through the entity, sweetie, no? No, it's your turn to cut. It's your turn, Daddy. Okay. Okay, glue more. Thank you, Mrs. Wee. Um, conclusion, we extracted a subset of the FIBO and we integrated that ontology module into the target fund ontology. Now, um, in terms of references, I highly recommend um, the, the Springer book on modular ontologies and about the um, tooling and techniques. Um, there certainly is Kumon uh, publishing and here in particular um, I would start with the first book of cutting. Well thank you very much for attending this class.